only eat, eat, no disguise, needing a voice that finds reason to multiply people in the streets for the cause. Watching on Washington Miners, we'll be walking through walls. Type of superhero show up when ain't no one to call. Better shield you from them shields, they've been killing us all. I beam for eyes, the peak, the villains in the dark. Power of resolution for a war with evil start. The knowledge to build and more they live and take care of the kids and the older folk. We clean cause they need it most. Politic with the king, a body economic growth. QPT is deep. Cause mental health ain't a joke. Feed the hungry and dope. Everyone would know everywhere we go. Every hood, every city, every ghetto. I'm a dragon to your 
king of castle. The alpha and omega promise it ain't nothing now. A new beginning. My cat are all like James Earl Jones, the elder living. Imagine if I did make beats, that's more for killing. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today we've got a week eight matchup on tap here between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Denver Broncos. And off we go from Denver. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the end line. So it'll come out to the 25. Going to the air right away, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, we get back up. He just looks out there and he's got nice first game back. What do you want to get those backs in the space right there? And they do that there. Let's pick up on the first down. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And this goes straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. No, nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding card. Here's Lawrence. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And he makes the ball away and throws it completely. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and pump the ball and try to take a shot and get the first down. They chose the latter without the punt all the same. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. It's a 19-yard return, and the Broncos take over, first down, and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They begin the drive with Williams, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And this defense for the Jags, they were fantastic a week ago when they went over Houston. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Off play action, Randolph. From the left side, it's complete. He'll get it inside the 20, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Denver score. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drop. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be, man. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone before a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that 
these are professional athletes. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. He had to fight for every yard on that run. He shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort he'll take every single time. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Now Lawrence. He sets to fire deep. And a double coverage and it's intercepted.
The Broncos on the field ready to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play a long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. A gain of three last play this time. They dumped up and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Off the play fade, Randolph. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And unable to connect, incomplete. I give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, if you have me in coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The Broncos send out their punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jaguars comes it over to start their next drive. A strong showing the last time out they scored the touchdown, but Charles have looked up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this guy probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try to repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see what this game is. On first down, right back to ETM. Defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Still nine remaining on second down. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 45 yard line. Again, it's ET and option. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. And this is going to be an incomplete. And Charles, you think about what this defense has had to prepare for. They're in for a battle, and they're facing a team that is working on a six-game winning streak. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms, but I think what they need to do is make some sort of a statement early in this game, whether it's a turnover or takeaway, a key sack, a third down, a three and out. Something lets the other guys know that you mean business. Figuratively, throw the first punch and make it a good one. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. The receiver coaches play short guns all the time. Separation, that was going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And this one is right down the middle. Well, I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of these distance blocks. They do dream of it, and they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. On the ready? 
Denver offense has the line ready to go. Obviously not the intended goal last time. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Devin Bush in there to get him, and on the season now that is nine sacks for him. Now following the sack, they look to make amends on a second down at 17. And he's got his man out of the slot complete. So the completion good for seven there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Simple drag around here, lined up out left to try to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner by the time it's out. Oh, 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 good, complete. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Last time I remember their drive stall, but they should have kicked them in a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got to get with a nail from long distance? As an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just get the extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The previous run good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Another two and he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago. He threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the score. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to run for a long. You're not here on every one side. Hey, you get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to return. On second and very short, Lawrence looking deep downfield. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. But the thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessful. Now a third down throw, and it misses the target incomplete. I think it's safe to say he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Force some throws in the top. 
the top of 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 the
Broncos on the field ready to start their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Give the sack to Jojo Baker. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Okay, ready? So that so complicates that things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run, all things considered. I like that in the first quarter. It's 10 right now as the clock continues to run. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles. Remember that first half. Good through the air, nearly all around, an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working perfectly well. Most important partner. And they went into the tunnel with the lead, and they come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they actually like what they saw in that first half. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Jerome Baker able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. The defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. What else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. The Broncos send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. He'll take it at the 42. A nice punt, but a good run back as well. 13 yards. And the Jags like great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. He'll get this off to the end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll make it second down. 
A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll work the ETN. And he's able to get it to the 33, good enough for first down. Only three there on the pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something, a lot of this people power running. They decided to turn it loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed, he delivered the tough yards. So they come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the option, here's ETU. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Lawrence. And incomplete on the deep ball. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not winning for him. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense. Got to give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. He seems a little bit confused He's trying to complete passes. Only a yard to the pickup there, and it's going to lead him with a fourth down. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jazz. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And his kick is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So the three points there, the city that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos on the field, ready to start their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a throw here to his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Off play action. Randolph. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? On second down, Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards they lost, and now third and 12. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind him. And it's caught inside the 30. And TD of the game, his sixth on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra play by Butker is on target, and that will make this a 19 point game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From the six. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also. He's got a man complete. And yeah, he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line. And they'll throw on first down for Lawrence. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Second and ten now. Third quarter action in Denver. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Now the ball comes loose. The Broncos say they have it. They do. We've seen this before, and we know coaches preach it out of us and it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Denver offense has the line ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going to bell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with him there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead, it's not quite himself to the turf. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. This one swung out to Williams. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit the drop. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they got themselves a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw, Randolph. Oh! They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. Oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter? They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Back to throw again. That's complete. It's okay. He's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. It's a game of 34. So that changes things over here. There's a first and 10 all the way down to the 35. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to right for one deep left side. And this ball incomplete. Uh, look very much to be a catch on the ball and could not hang on on second down coming up. Off the play fade, Randolph, he's going to let this go. Back in the end zone, and that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Oftentimes when you're losing the game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Again, he'll drop the throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That is now seven, seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys to scout games for you with a different eye and watch it and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up with the flaws and hopefully they can correct it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game. So every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. Now a toss left side into the hands of a 
his tight end. He's up to the 20, and he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw Lawrence. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. It's a throw again is Lawrence. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Lawrence. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them in this series because it seems like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. To throw once more on second and ten, Lawrence. Well, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Picked up by Caden Sturds. And the Broncos will take over here as they get it up to the 43 yard line. The Broncos on the field ready to start their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, that has been a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Throwing again on second and ten. Randolph. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. Yet another interception, and I just had to double check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. Gonna look to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Connor Hayward there to make the grab. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Lawrence gonna look to throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety that doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they do get the try for the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your hand half tap or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Second and ten. Hey, check Mega. Check Mike. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down to the 28. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. This offense on third down today. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and ten. Nowhere to go. He lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. 
This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. Like they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Take it at the 15, a short kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 21. remaining and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four minute offense here, Charles. Definitely remember the four minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's on the clock. What they need to do is be able to keep play right now. Run the clock down. Make sure they're important to get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make the need of their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. He's going to ride for one deep left side. And he is out but not before he's inside the 30. How about a 39-yard pickup? Now take it. A good fan of offensive football. This game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match than a football game. Back and forth, back and forth. And there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding on. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left them no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And his defense here going to run their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Off play action. Randolph. And he checks this one down to Williams. He's going to pick up the first down and then some. Touchdown, Broncos! Javante Williams. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra play by Broncos on the target. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. Well, it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'll be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Throwing again on second and ten. Lawrence. Looking left side and it's complete. And they work this well off field across the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Throwing left side, it's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. They do tack on the extra point as well. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And the Broncos are going to get the football. 
And they just about had to get that recovery to have any chance. They only have one timeout. You look at the clock. Now let's do the math here, Charles. This, this one's pretty much over. Yeah, we do have a chart here, don't we? It tells us about the timeouts. You do. I'm not a smart one. And, and, and in looking at it, you're exactly right. Chart's not going to help them here at all. They're pretty much done at this stage. They had to have that recovery. First play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And yeah, good work there in open space. He's got this on the right down now with the 32. Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. And he'll get this to the 22, so they can get him the point at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Only this run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that's how the run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can leave us a big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. 43 yards on the ground for him so far. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You can give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open, he just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, but unable to do so on that ball. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now, because they feel a whole lot better about their position. A touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football, it almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like that, but he needs a few more to get his guys down the field. Well, the way he's throwing it, it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker.
next week as the Seattle Seahawks come to town. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they'll also drop them to 6-2 now on.